Welcome to 5G Benchmark. Today, we're diving into the world of ultra-fast wireless, testing the real-world Wi-Fi performance of the Huawei CPE Pro 6. Now, the marketing promises are bold, lightning-fast speeds and cutting-edge Wi-Fi 7 technology. But the question is, does it actually deliver? Stick around, because the results and the actual capabilities, they were more surprising than we expected. Let's talk about Wi-Fi 7, the latest leap in wireless technology. It introduces ultra-wide 320 MHz channels and multi-link operation for seamless switching across frequency bands. But here's the catch. Not every device unlocks its full potential. In crowded areas, 2.4 and 5 GHz bands are packed with overlapping networks. Finding a clean channel is tough. Interference kills performance. Wi-Fi 6 E and 7's 6 GHz band solves this by offering wide, interference-free channels. The Huawei CPE Pro 6 supports only 2.4 and 5 GHz bands, no 6 GHz support. That's a big deal in dense urban areas where interference is everywhere. So how does it perform despite those limitations? Let's find out. Here's the test layout we have three measurement points. Point one is right next to the modem, ideal conditions. Point two is eight meters away, with one drywall in between. Point three is the toughest, 14 meters and two drywalls, separating it from the modem. Next up, the tests. And, oh boy, there were issues. When using multi-link operation, where the rotor combines 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz bands, things got messy. Frequent disconnects, unstable behavior. It made testing a real challenge. This could be a firmware issue, so it's something we'll keep an eye on. But after some patience, I was finally able to complete all the tests at each measurement point. Making reliable and comparable Wi-Fi throughput tests isn't easy. So for this video, I use two different tools, OpenSpeedTest and iPerf3. As you'll see, the results can vary slightly, even at the same location. That's normal, since each tool measures performance a bit differently. When multi-link operation worked, performance was surprisingly solid across all measurement points. It didn't quite match the speeds of dedicated Wi-Fi 7 access points, but it held up well. Even at the farthest location, the router was able to lean on the lower frequency band to maintain speed. Very good throughput, even through two walls. Wi-Fi 6 performance was also at a good level when tested using a laptop. Even without the latest Wi-Fi 7 features, the speeds were good at all measurements points. So, what's the verdict on the Huawei CPE Pro 6 and its Wi-Fi 7 performance? Overall, it delivered good results, even with the limited 160 MHz channel bandwidth. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Multi-link operation showed a lot of instability, likely due to early firmware issues. And the lack of 6 GHz support makes it less than ideal in crowded urban environments, where clean channels are hard to find. If you're in a larger apartment or house, you'll definitely want to pair this router with a mesh system or separate access point to get the most out of your setup. Still, there's solid potential here, especially once the software matures. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more real world network tests and device reviews.
Got questions, experiences with the CPE Pro 6, or suggestions for future tests? Drop a comment below. We would love to hear from you.